All right, let's take a look at uh, a couple of clips that, uh, that you came up with for him. And, um, and again, you, you kind of mentioned short area, quickness, versatility. Um, take us through what you see here. Well, again, he's that JOK type, so he can be, he's very, very flexible, very versatile in what he can do. He can play multiple positions uh, inside and out. I think he's a little bit better off the edge. Again, in the NFL, uh, he's not very big, so he's got to use his hands very well. He's got to, he's got to use his uh, ability to make people miss, even in a small area. Uh, again, that small area quickness is very, very impressive because he can make uh, li uh, running backs miss. He can make linemen miss. Uh, he's not going to be able to take these big guys on straight on and just play heavy. Uh, the Browns don't have any thumpers inside in terms of just kind of running at those big guys and clogging caps. So they have to be athletic, they have to be versatile, and they got to play well in space. Um, and, and so you mentioned that, you know, that they're not the biggest of guys, and um, that leads us to the next clip. That means you better have really good instincts and some explosion um, because if you're not big, you better be quick and able to get where you think you need to be. Well, here's a great look. It's hard to tell in the uh, film here, but it's a zone look, and that center is going to try to get off on him. And what he does, which is one of my favorite part of playing these zone and playing these double teams, whether it's a gap scheme or a zone scheme, is that when you see that double, you cannot wait. Your brain, if your brain is thinking, your feet are not moving. And he's very instinctual. He plays with great energy. So uh, he believes in what he sees, and, and he goes. So again, he's going to make uh, the center miss here, he, uh, the guard center backside, they have trouble getting to him. It's just a zone play. He's going to beat him across his face and, and make a tackle for a loss. He does this a lot uh, from different positions when you watch his uh, uh, film from his senior year at West Virginia. And, and again, um, you mentioned it is not the thumper or the big guy. Um, it's kind of where the linebacker position in the NFL is going because it's a pass-heavy league, and that kind of leads us to, to the next clip that you dug up. Um, really good in coverage and, and kind of understands um, the drops that he needs. Yeah, zone coverage here. Browns play a ton of zone. Those linebackers uh, are forced to play hook curl. Uh, they're going to play in those hook curl areas with crossing routes, uh, the dig routes, the tight end routes. He's uh, athletic enough to cover a tight end in space uh, back out of the backfield. Uh, he can spy on the good quarterbacks in the NFL that can run and use their feet. Um, he's got really good ball skills. He's got really good spatial awareness. Um, again, I would say his downside is just his overall size. He's, he's only 220 pounds, which, um, you know, in the normal world is big, but in the world of playing in the box in the NFL, he's a little guy. So he's got to use all these, all these skills uh, to be successful.